welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm with serena ww okay so <laughs> where did ww come from well ww means wonder woman and it came from my friends because okay. they felt like she looks like somebody that cannot do it <laughs> but when you give her an opportunity she just excels she just does it well so they're like oh wonder woman because when you see me you see wonder <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today um, we'll be talking on uh, insecurities and self-esteem. So when people generally hear self-esteem, the first thing that comes to their mind is low self-esteem. Mm. And it's something we should actually address up because there's high self-esteem too. There are people that are very confident, they, are very, they have high self-esteem. So today we'll be talking on self-esteem generally, both self, uh, high and low, and insecurity. So before we get started, there's a... Uh, for most of you, I know most of our viewers have actually seen the story of Maya Khalifa, the former uh, porn actress, that she told a story, a story of how, because of her low self-esteem, she entered into porn. Because when she was growing up, she was very heavy weighted. Oh, I don't want to use fat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't want to use fat because it's a derogatory <laughs> word. Exactly. Okay, she had a lot of weight. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> So she was oversized when she was growing up and when she entered college she actually lost a lot of I think like 50 pounds so wow. and one of her major insecurity was her breast so oh yeah so when she actually lost all those weight she discovered that she started getting attention from guys and because of that she felt she needed to hold on to that attention oh. and one thing led to another she acted even though that was what she didn't she didn't want to do that generally so that was one thing she said. She said uh, low self-esteem is not discriminatory. It doesn't mean whether you are poor or rich, yeah. low self-esteem is not, it doesn't segregate. So today we'll be talking on self-esteem generally. And we will not just be talking about low self-esteem for our viewers. We'll be talking about high and low self-esteem and insecurity. So you guys, see my channel for the first time this conversation with share going and yeah we are not trying to be right we are just starting a conversation so if you like this video click on the like and the subscribe button and also comment down below like yeah i can you tell us a lot of people are very insecure about so many things tell us yeah. what your insecurity is that has affected you mm -hmm. in your relationship in your work life and as personal at the personal level so Let's get, get started with the video. So, when we are talking about insecurity generally, we are going to be looking at our personal life, uh, relationship, and uh, work life. And now, low self esteem and self esteem generally has actually affected our work life and uh, our relationship and our personal life. So, let's get your own view on, on that. And um, personally, Self-esteem is basically just based on how you value yourself, how you see yourself. It could be high, it could be low. Basically, it's just your value. And your insecurities could play out in terms of um, you being uncertain. Okay. And as a result of that, you get anxious and all of that bad stuff that comes with it. So it could be you trying to prove to people that you can do it. And as a result of that, you don't want to seem less of the picture people have of you you get so somehow that could like affect your esteem it could be you trying to maybe prove a point and all of that sometimes it could be people projecting their insecurities on you yeah that way of advice and all of that because they will tell you that okay this is what it is this is what it is when it comes to that like they say you, you should be very careful of the people you listen to you should be careful of the things you see you should be careful of the things you hear because this place these parts of our body are like gateways, so people tend to get things stuck in their mind by what they see, what they hear, and um, who they listen to, who they have conversations with. So basically, it's just you trying to guide yourself and as much as possible, making sure that you get information from the right places. Okay. Yeah. So there's this adage of fake it till you make it. So and I think it's actually a very very nice adage because a lot of people need to not necessarily fake it mm -hmm. but have this high sense of I am this even though you are not there at that moment. So if you keep telling yourself that I am this, I am this, 
I guess like over it's time. More like it's like a confession. Exactly. Like, it's like a faith walk. Exactly. So when people keep saying I am better, I am successful, mm -hmm. I think that's why most views on uh, people do a lot of listen to a lot of motivational speakers on this thing on uh, YouTube. Like yeah. anytime I just get to YouTube, like they are speaking for motivation. It's like one million. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Or how much you love yourself? How exactly. Much you love yourself. So people need to. They need that personal uh, yeah. affirmation sometimes yeah. to actually boost their self esteem. Mm. So, I think that's one thing. So, when we are talking about personal self esteem, I think a lot of people identify with this yeah. either with their shape, the shape of their body, their weight size, yeah. their even down to their financial mm. status. Yeah. Exactly. Because some people they feel like if they are not well being enough, mm. they will not have enough esteem, they will not get the respect they should get. But people don't understand that these things are supposed to come from within you. Like you were saying something about praising yourself, affirm, giving yourself words of That's affirmation, affirmation yeah. every single time. And I don't think, I don't believe in fake it till you make it. Do you understand? I believe in having the mental picture of where you, it, it's okay to see yourself, like have a future of where you want to see yourself. You get but not faking it till you make it cause <laughs> <laughs> that's that's stressful on its in, on its own that's stressful and this is just you be you become very defensive unnecessarily scared because you don't first of all you don't want people to find out that you're faking it and <laughs> also you don't also yeah. want to find you don't want to also get yourself into that position where you don't like you feel less of the picture you have already painted yeah. for people exactly so, so when you don't actually get to that point you get really, start getting depressed and, yeah. and, like that. and i think people in their 20s 30s they experience things like that especially the people faking to the making people <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> i just feel like basically just be yourself be real be very real be real but don't be lazy but be real with yourself, be true with what you're doing, make sure you have a lot of passion for what you do. Okay. And don't believe that, maybe don't compare yourself with a lot of people because one thing that affects esteem, self-esteem is comparison because they want to compare themselves. Okay, yeah, I'm not a teller yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not down with yeah, or something. Yeah. And they just feel like, okay, I need to keep striving hard to prove a point that I can become down with or something. Be your own, be your own brand, be your own person, and just don't compare yourself. The competition, the best competition you can ever have is the one between yourself, who you were yesterday, and who you want to become tomorrow. Okay. So basically, it's just you striving to get better for yourself and not feeling less of it. And if you notice, um, babies, when they come into the world, they okay. don't have any form of esteem, esteem at no all. Shame. Like, I think I don't think be, uh, they still come what? from shame too. Like exactly. When people try to shame you for certain things, mm -hmm. over time you become ashamed of yourself. You start exactly. internalizing some of these fears yeah. into yourself. I remember when I was growing up, a lot of time people tell me that you can't walk like a man, you can't yeah, talk, talk like, like a man. man. Exactly. Yeah. And over time I start internalizing all these things to myself. So anytime I look into the mirror, I'm always sad. I don't yeah. see myself as actually worthy of certain things. So all these bad uh, yeah. comment that people started saying about me that you got to report that, that our age. I, I think that was right from when i was more like very early yeah, age like yes. four or five even till now i still get, get some, some of those comments like le uh, leading that to the kind of clothes i wear i can't yeah. wear certain clothes because of the kind of my body shape so yeah. i can't wear this i can't wear yeah. that so i've started i started internalizing some of those problems or some of those bad comments that I get uh, low self esteem also. For mm. example, over time, when people started talking about this self love or about self esteem, yes, yeah. exactly. Like, you can I didn't open to the first. Exactly. Well, it depends. When, when the, I, was, I was not, I was born like this, there's nothing I can That's do. That's what I was. Exactly. exactly. So I just have to accept it. Yeah. So it depends on how you take this information. Like some people, they take this information. On the negative, there are some people that take it on the positive. Like for instance, mm. if you tell some people that you are a failure, some people will try to prove a point. I'm not a failure. <laughs> but if you tell some people that I'm a failure, they're like, Oh my god, <laughs> I'm a failure, man. <laughs> what am I going to do about it? Okay, I yeah. think maybe I should just be eating cookies because I'm a failure. But basically, it's just you trying to make sure that as a child, over time, you try to like correct yourself, make sure that 
you just get past that thing like talk to yourself okay. like there are some things practical things i do like i write down a lot i write down what i want for myself who i yeah. want to be yeah. where like my models my role models how i want to look like them and everything practical things sometimes i talk to myself in the mirror and all of that as far as i'm able to accept that i am beautiful i am me because growing up i had this experience of people telling me that um you have yam leg my leg are very weak <laughs> so they were like ah oh, you have yam leg you have yam leg and i'm like okay and i was very skinny too <laughs> so this coming back with bones and everything people have bad mouths so like, <laughs> but i just took my, told myself that okay i have yam legs there's nothing i can do about it and there's something my mother used to tell us growing up she said, you are wonderfully and beautiful made by god <laughs> I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change my legs. I'm not going to change how I look. And look at me now. Look at me now. <laughs> so it's, it's just. She's looking good, by the way. It's just you having to. Thank you very much, Nate. Okay. Just you having to accept yourself because there's nothing you can do about it. Appreciate who God has called you to be. That is one important thing. And knowing that this is you, this is what you want for yourself, and this is where you are going to. Being very focused, it really helps you to block negative comments yeah, and staying far away from bad vibes. It's real. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Staying exactly. far away from bad vibes is just real. Trying to make sure that you avoid any form of association that does not match up to where you are going to. There are some people that are in friendships that they just get there because they want to feel accepted yes exactly most people yeah. run into or start a relationship because mm -hmm. one they are indecisive they want somebody to decide for them mm -hmm. secondly because uh, they need to love and acceptance, acceptance from somebody else <laughs> whereas they don't themselves yeah. feel all those things yeah. so they feel maybe because if someone else tell me this mm -hmm. over time i will love myself, myself more exactly or i will accept and my esteem will be high yeah whereas uh, it doesn't work that way yeah. we you don't accept yourself mm -hmm. that's why my uh, previous talk you talk about self-worth like yeah. you don't know your value Body, as a person yeah. nobody else is going to value you exactly if, <laughs> if you don't value if you don't place value on yourself or mm -hmm. you don't place what on your a lot of people just get this uh they just get stepped on mm -hmm. and they feel it's okay yeah. for somebody just come and step on just be rude to them yeah. and they don't they don't they can't fight it yeah. because they feel people have been doing it over time i guess it's, it's not true exactly yeah so most times people don't know their self what which i said their esteem because mm -hmm. esteem has to do with not just you, you. it's got to do with your environment yeah. the, what people say about you yeah. if people keep telling you that you're a failure, failure. If people keep telling you that you, you are not you, good enough, exactly, you are not good enough, no. you are not man enough, no. you are not woman enough, you are too strong. No. Like you there was this, yes, like for there was this uh, lady okay. uh, runner. Mm. She was born that way. She was very strong at like, the level. level. Mm. Is higher than normal female. So mm. they stopped her from running. They, yeah, they just disqualify her from running. And wow. it, is that for? Is that her? Enough, exactly. So one thing she said I actually loved was. Mm. She accepted herself that way. She's yeah. not going to allow somebody to come and tell her she can't be this or yeah. be real her career because somebody say she's not accepted in the yeah. environment. Yeah. Like you can't keep, keep putting people in the box. But, they stereotype. Yeah. That you must fit this particular, particular picture. Is that done? If yeah. you don't fit, fit it, you can't just be in it. Exactly. And there are minorities. There are always minorities. Everybody can't be majority. Mm. Imagine everybody being a doctor. Who will be the lawyer? <laughs> Who will be the uh, president creator? Who will be the Exactly, so you can't just push people in a That's world. why it's good that you identify your calling. Because yeah. most times, most people are running towards, um, everybody wants to be an actress, everybody wants to be in the entertainment industry, everybody wants to be doing some kind of entertainment. Know your calling for yourself. Okay. Because when you're able to identify purpose and fulfill purpose, that is something that you will stay grateful for. Because what will make you unique, like, for instance, now you see there are people, there are different people that have a particular business, okay. but it's one particular shop that everybody wants to go to uh, because yeah. of the person's appreciation of value and appreciation of purpose. So if you are able to appreciate your purpose, appreciate your value, and stay with it, be consistent, man, take bold steps that you'll be able to 
take it to the next level, get the right connections. Honestly, you will stay grateful for that. Okay, so let's talk about insecurity and self-esteem in relationships. Okay. When a lot of people want to get into a relationship and they have this standard, they have this thing that they are already thinking of, they have this, uh, they set this standard, this unrealistic expectation <laughs> for people. And if people don't meet up yeah, with that, yeah, they just say, oh. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. Now you hear things of my guy must be the, it must be any million. I say yes, any million. Like the song who have just came out and everybody's already studying the standard of sex. Yeah. It must be a deep stroke. All those things mm -hmm. and all these contribute to uh, esteem of people. Yeah. If someone can't live up to that expectation mm -hmm. or if somebody can't uh yes live up to that expectation it becomes a problem of self uh loathing mm. people start loathing themselves or people feel that they are, they are not appreciated or they cannot they are underappreciated so let's talk about uh insecurities in and self-esteem in relationships i had a first relationship okay okay basically before you get into a relationship you should be and complete when sorry okay. when we are talking about relation we don't just mean boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever we're talking about friendship too yeah. like and people need to know that when you're talking about relationship it has to do with people around you, around you yeah. not just as as sexual are relationship, but yeah. talking about companionship yeah. and Friendships. having someone to talk with. All the okay. ships. <laughs> All the ships. <laughs> so basically, um, before you get into any relationship okay. that's releasing people, <laughs> yeah. um, meet um, friendship, friendship romantic, um, romantic relationships, relationships okay. and all of that. You should be a complete human being. You should be independent. That's what I mean by complete human being. You should be independent for yourself. Because most people get so attached to somebody. And when the person is saying, okay, this is time for me to go, they find it difficult mm. to let go because they are so attached. Okay, that, Just that's imagine. From over, yeah. Over Zilla, that be, it's obsessed. Yeah, exactly. uh, that's why you get all this feeling of obsession, obsession okay. and all of that. So I just feel personally you should be complete, you should be try as much as possible to be independent as a person. Try as much as possible to be independent as a person. Try as much as possible to know your value for yourself. Okay. Because when you know your value for yourself, people can come and toss you around. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> because you know you know your value for yourself, you get and this is something you have been able to realize on your own. Like for instance now. There are some people in friendship in a friendship circle. You see that there's some that's like the boss. Yes, Maybe like the king. Yes. That there's some that like the king. Girls, me and girls kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah. Where there's a guy, the yeah. top boy, the top dog. Yeah, then they have people that the people that follow them. Yeah, they, okay. they have the second in command and they have the messengers. <laughs> <laughs> okay.